cool, slightly damp Hereford. Uh, today, the plan is to get the uh, to get the boat rubbed down as best we can. Um, the problem I've got, if I just bring you around, is my proximity to other boats, and I don't believe there's many practical places to go. Possibly over there in the distance where the dry dock is, um, but it'll mean moving if he comes and wants to bring a boat through the gap from the other side of the basin. So at the moment, I think it's going to be wet and dry because that way I can uh, keep it wet, the dust won't go anywhere, I can just rinse it off, uh, give it a key and hope that that can then start taking the, uh, the undercoat or primer for the top coat which is going to be cream so we've got to get certainly an undercoat on if not uh, a primer as well and a little bit of rust treatment in a few spots so if I can accomplish that today I will be ecstatic it's going to be it's going to be hard graft let's just get back on board without falling off it's a bit of a mess I will show you very quickly so this is the uh, state of play from uh, tidying up yesterday and we've got boxes of all sorts of stuff on the bed because we're not staying here at the moment until we can get sorted but this is what we've got to, got to get rubbed down to be honest it's pretty good apart from some bits up here that have taken the sun that are going to need rubbing down um, a couple of areas like this that uh, have got a bit of rust they had a I think a magnesium or a lead weight with a flag sticking up the, the BBC Rowing Club, I think, on it. Um, so that'll need treating, a few bits on the sides, and go through. I'll just uh, turn you back round. I'm hoping that uh, my wife and daughter will be turning up probably about 11 o'clock, give me a hand for a few hours until uh, I'm sure my daughter bails and says she's bored or something like that. and. Uh, that might get the back of it broken or at least the uh, chance to uh, crack on for a bit and I'll be really happy if we get that done today uh, really really happy if I get some fur tan or back tan on the rust uh, ready to sit overnight but obviously starting to get the damp mornings drawing in uh, it's the end of August so uh, time to crack on I'll take you for a quick walk the massive distance to the canal And this, of course, is the other option. Do I come out the marina and put it out on the cut uh, and just tie up, run a generator and run a sander? Choices. Worst bit's this, this first flatting down. Uh, that'll make the most dust unless I use a wet and dry, in which case it probably won't make any at all anyway. Here we go, it's, uh, it's not too far. Get to the canal. And just there is a Perford Lock. And there's a pub, which I haven't managed to get to yet. I only really got uh, ownership of the boat yesterday. In fact, I haven't actually signed all the paperwork. It was a bit manic. And uh, I'm back to the boat. So I'll uh, let you see what I'm doing as a crack on with it. You'll have to excuse the uh, wobbly iPhone footage, and possibly bad audio. But I'm washing the top of the boat down at the moment with uh, traffic film remover, 10 to one, just trying to get some of the muck off. It is pretty filthy. That's what came off the ropes. As I've got center line, center lines off, and got that much more to go and that's just to see if I can get away with a bit of wet and dry or something uh, I've got some liquid sand which uh, you put on and it strips all the dirt out and leaves you at a point where it could be painted that might do it ah, got my doubts I'll let you know so the boat is now washed that's uh, some Ecover traffic film remover um, lifting loads of soot around the uh, events uh, 
that's the most of it off. I'm gonna try this, I've got no real hopes. Let's see, this stuff uh, without sanding, don't believe it for a second, but if it gets the last of the crud off and lets me hit it with the sander later, then that'll be good enough. So uh, bear with me and I'll uh, show you how that works. <laughs> 